do that we come into this house to give him our best praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. to bring you praise come on sing it with all your heart and I come into this house to bring you worship with a thankful heart for all you've done I lift my hands and come on let's sing that part again I come I come into this house to bring you praise I come into this house to bring you worship. Yes. Thankful heart for all you've done. I lift my hands and sing. You are, you are the God who is able. My hope, my life, my God, you are faithful. All that I am, I give to you. or think which means you can think big and God's always bigger praise the Lord and I'm so grateful today that no matter how dark or challenging or bleak a situation may look there's always hope there's always hope 
because we have a God that can do the impossible. Even if a doctor's looking in your eyes and says there's nothing that can be done, this is it. You can have confidence in your heart. It's never over when you have God as your God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Say, my God can do the impossible. Now, what's our part? We have to believe. Jesus himself, when he was confronted with an impossible situation and someone said, is there anything you can do? And he said, all things are possible, only believe. So our heart and our part is to get into the position of faith where we can truly believe for the impossible. Amen. Just lift your hands. Father, we thank you. I thank you that faith will arise in this place today. Lord God, where we can believe you for the impossible. Lord, for with you, all things are possible. So, Lord, we shift our focus on you, on your bigness, on your greatness, and on all that Jesus did for us. We thank you, Lord. Oh, you're a faithful God. You're a good Father. Oh, we worship you in this place today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, there's always hope. I can feel it in my bones. Oh, Jesus, there's always faith, because you will always make a way. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And I've heard a thousand stories of what they think your life, but I've heard the tender whisper of love. Dead of night, and you tell me that you're pleased and that I'm never alone. You're good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm loved by you. It's who I am. for answers far and wide but I know we're all searching for answers only you provide cause you know just what we need before we say a word you're good good father
We thank you for your great love by which you love us. Thank you, Father, that you are love. And we thank you that your love is in this place. Amen. Your love is being poured out on us in this moment, Father. We receive the love of God. Just lift your hands all across this room. Lord, we receive your love. Lord, it's not by anything that we did to deserve your love. It's because that's your nature. That's your heart. That's who you are. And we thank you, Father. We thank you for that love here today that's healing and mending and binding up the brokenhearted. Thank you that you go about doing good, bringing healing to all oppressed of the devil. We thank you, Lord, that your presence is here to set the captive free. We thank you, Lord. Oh, we know who we are because we are loved by our Father. Thank you, Lord. Say that I know who I am. I'm loved by my Father. Amen. Let's sing that today. Hallelujah. Mercy shut his mouth And I once was crippled by the weight of shame Embarrassed, I couldn't even show my face Oh Jesus, then I heard you speak Your love, it comes with no conditions you gave us your whole heart, and my hope is in the blood of Jesus. Because I know who I am because of who you are. And you tell me that grace has taken care of it. And oh Jesus, you're my victory. And oh Jesus, you're my victory. And your love, it comes with no condition. You give us your hope.
God, you will never turn your back on me. I want to bow now. I surrender. The love of God has changed my destiny. Your love, it comes with no Give us your hope every time my hope is in the blood of Jesus. I know who I am because of that again. Your love, it comes with no conditions. You give us your hope. Hallelujah. Lift your hands to heaven. Let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Give him praise for his mercy. Praise God for his love. How many say God's been good to me? Hallelujah. God's been good to you. Amen. Praise the Lord. He's been good to us. Amen. You know, he'll love you right out of defeat. He'll love you right out of that addiction. Amen. He'll love you out of that sin. He'll love you right out of that nature that you used to live in. Praise God. And I look, when I think about the goodness of the Lord, He looked down and said, I'm going to love you. I'm going to love you right out of that defeat that the devil's had you bound in. Amen. Praise God. Isn't that awesome? So He didn't come to leave us the way we are. He came to change us into the life of victory, into the life of being an overcomer. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, in this culture, they kind of have, in, and the enemies used this some, some, somewhat a lot. You know, God is love, and God accepts us. And, you know, He loves us enough to get us out of our mess. Amen. Amen. He didn't look down and say, well, they're okay. I just accept whatever they're doing. No, He looked down and said, what they're doing is killing them. So I'm going to send my son Jesus to rescue them. Amen. That's the love of God. Amen. The love of God comes to rescue us in our messes and to get us out of whatever's been killing us. Amen. So whatever we were doing, God says, listen, I'm going to rescue them because I love them enough. That's the love of God. Amen. Let's thank God for his love today. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. So I say it like this. Jesus didn't come preaching love and acceptance. He came preaching love and repentance. Amen. In other words, turn from what's killing you. Turn to the life that I have for you today. Amen. He says, I'm the way. 
I'm the truth and I am the light that you're seeking for. Amen. Praise God. So when you get a hold of that side of God and you see that He is doing everything He can to get you to the place where you're walking in the victory that Jesus obtained for you and I. Hallelujah. I'm going to read the scripture here. I love this passage here. Welcome to, listen, welcome to Dynamic Life today. How are you? So excited about the goodness of the Lord. 2-2-20, February the 2nd, 2020. Amen. Woo. That only happens one time in 900 years. So you're. <laughs> Here's a passage in the. I love this so much. Hebrews chapter 13. I'm reading this in the Amplified Classic, but I'm reading this part two of verse, verse five. And I love this because it says, For he, God himself, has said, I mean, when God is saying something, you need to listen. For he, God himself, has said, I will not in any way fail you, nor give you up, nor leave you without support. I will not. I will not. I will not in any degree leave you helpless, nor forsake you, nor let you down. And in parentheses, relax my hold on you. Or surely not. In other words, God's got you, amen. Amen. Woo, he's got you, amen. Woo! Praise God. When I read this, he says, I will never leave you or forsake you. I say, Lord, I thank you. You're always there with us. So wherever you go, he's right there with you. And if we call on him, you call on him in your messes, God has said, I'll just pick you right up out of that mess. I'll love you to life right now. And I like verse 6. Because we know that. Because we know that God is living in us. We're the temple of the Holy Ghost. He's living in us. As we're growing in our faith, growing in our walk with Him, developing and becoming, becoming more Christ-like every day. Here's what it says in verse 6. Because we know God's with us. He says, so we take comfort and are encouraged. And we confidently and boldly say, the Lord is my helper. Hallelujah. The Lord is my helper. Amen. So here's what I say. Whatever I'm going through, whatever situation I'm challenged, I know that God is in me and God is with me. Amen. And I say, God, you are my helper. Hallelujah. You are my helper. Praise God. When you've got the great helper, the great I am, you can come through every situation victorious. Amen. Say, victory is mine. All the time, 24-7. Isn't that a good life? Praise God. That's putting faith in who God is, in His abilities, putting faith in His grace. Amen. The grace of God. So you reach out by faith. You lay hold of what grace is offering today. Amen. And that grace will help you run your race, and you'll put a smile on God's face. Amen. Praise God. Let's give God a big shout of praise in here today. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Father. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. You're worthy, Father God. Hallelujah. You know, super, they call this Super Bowl Sunday. You might be watching the game today and you see that football going across the air. Brother Hagin says, just a bag of hot air, just a bag of wind. And when your team catches that ball and runs a touchdown, you'll holler like you never holler. You'll rejoice. And, because some people say, well, I'm just not somebody that shouts. You, you know you shout. You know you shouted at your husband last night. Just slammed the door as he was, he was going out the door. You know you shout at your kids. You know there's, there's a side of you that has a shout. Amen. Amen. And I'll tell you what, that football going across the air, it hasn't saved one person. It hasn't delivered one person. And I'll tell people, if you want to shout, you ought to be shouting about the one that delivers you. Amen. Amen. You ought to have a shout in your mouth. Amen. I am a shouter. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm a shouter. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. I'm a shouter, amen. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus is Lord. He's Lord of my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
One person said, why do you have to shout? You know, some of those tough things, you got to shout them out. Sometimes just, I mean, I like to just shout when the devil's just running his big mouth. I like to shout louder than he can shout. Loud enough where I can't hear his voice drain out his... Man, you just, you just start shouting and the voice of the devil just starts getting less and less and less. I mean, when you're shouting loud enough, man, you're shouting. I mean, know that God loves a faith-filled shout. There's nothing like a believer who shouts in faith. Strongholds come down, amen? Strongholds come down when you're shouting in faith. The Lord is my helper, amen? He is my helper. He is my helper, hallelujah. I was at church one day at another church and brought a friend of mine from a denominational church. And I was so excited he was there. And as he was in the back with me, we was watching everybody and the church just went berserk. People started jumping and shouting and running. And I was like, glory to God, praise God. You know, where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. There ought to be some liberty. You're bound up. You just need to shout it out. Amen. And as they were shouting and running and dancing, he looked at me and says, Man, y'all just praise God too much in here. That's what he said. And I noticed his life, he was always a Sadducee. Walking around so sad, you see. And I noticed that he was never in victory, never walked in triumph, never walked in having joy in his heart. And I said, Brother, my dear brother, I said, I know that lady that's running right there, jumping and shouting. I know what God did for her. And if you knew what God did for her, you'd be rejoicing with her right now. I know how God set her free and delivered. See that lady running right there? That's the one God rescued in her message. I started pointing out, I said, God gives them great things in their life. If they want to run and they want to shout and rejoice, woo, let them do it. And just rejoice with them. Like B.B. Hankin says, one person said, is all that necessary? He said, it's not necessary unless it's necessary. It might just be necessary for you to jump, for you to leap, for you to shout. Put the devil back under your feet. Amen? Hey! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Let this be Super Bowl Sunday where you're rejoicing in the victory you have in Christ. Hallelujah. He's a good God. Woo! One guy called me up. He said, you know, in my church, I lifted my hand one day and the usher come by and pushed it back down. Yeah. He said, I lifted my hand again. The usher said, huh, huh, we don't do that in this church. I said, brother, come over to our church. We do it in this church. When you get to heaven, God's going to say, y'all must be from dynamic life. You're going to go leaping and shouting and rejoicing and like you already knew what you were doing. Amen. It's a good life. Praise God. Praise God. He delivered me. He healed me. He set me free. And it's between me and God. I could care less what any one of you think. It's between me and God. And I'm a shouter, man. I'm a rejoicer. I hate dead religion. I like Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Woo! Hallelujah! 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 Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! Says, <laughs> the Bible says, he who sits in the heavens, he laughs. The Bible says, you've been raised up together with him, seated in heavenly places. What's it say in Ephesians? It says, as well-behaved children, act like your father acts. Well, if he's laughing in heaven, if he's laughing in heaven, you ought to be laughing right along with him. Uh -huh. What are you laughing at? The devil's defeated. He's a defeated foe. Amen. He's a defeated foe. And you can laugh the devil right out of your household. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I'm trying to behave myself. We got visitors here. I'm trying to behave myself. <laughs> we, <laughs> Praise God. The Bible says, in his presence is fullness of joy. I feel the presence of the Lord here today. Hallelujah. <laughs> look at your neighbor and say, you look a whole lot better laughing than you do frowning. <laughs> you look a whole lot better grinning, man, than you do complaining. Amen. Praise the Lord. Cross out. Shake somebody's hand. Woo! Woo! Shake somebody's hand.